What's up guys, great fight on this week's card. We have Tim Means and Kevin Holland going at it. This is bound to be an exciting fight, especially with both guys talking shit all the way through it. But before we get into it guys, this video is sponsored by Full Reptile Collective, brought to you by Dan Hardy. Head over to their website at fullreptile.co.uk where you can find anything from training gear, t-shirts, hoodies, all the way to coffee. For an exclusive 10% off, use Dan Said So at checkout. Make sure to also check out their YouTube channel for some of the best MMA content out there, bar my own. Let's get back to the video. All right, guys, we'll start with Tim Means because Tim Means might be hitting his ceiling here. He's coming off wins against Nicholas Dalby and Mike Perry. Um, obviously, Mike Perry now over in Ben Apple fighting and Nicholas Dalby having a wretched few fights in the UFC at the moment on his return to the UFC anyway. But Tim Means is a high volume striker, very precise, very, very good at cutting angles and finding those little timing timing hits you know to uh to really wobble people without throwing too much power into it very good elbows knees up the middle he, he uses a very good muay thai balance game where he, you know he just completely overwhelms someone with the volume crushes their soul gets in their face makes it dirty but he's beautiful to watch you know at the same time it's it's mma and he he, he diversifies his skill set up so beautifully that someone like kevin holland might be overwhelmed with the amount he's trying to think about I like Tim Means as well because he doesn't just use the Muay Thai, he has thought of a submission game plan as well. He, he is a great net grabber. If you remember how he, he, he guillotine choked Thiago Alves, I know it's, it's in the long, you know, it's not in Thiago's heyday, you know, where he was the pit, the pit bull when he was undefeated going into that GSP fight, but he still manages to grab these necks and he's got those, the, the razor blade limbs of like Tony Ferguson where he can just snatch up the darses and the guillotines and, and just roll with them really make it uncomfortable to someone, even if he doesn't get the finish and negates their attack because they're nervous about getting their head trapped in those positions. And then we have Kevin Holland. Kevin Holland now obviously opened his debut account with Alex Oliveira, who now has been cut from the UFC. This is a welterweight now. Obviously he had a very successful, I think successful time in middleweight. Yes, it didn't end too great against two heavy wrestlers that were elite at the division, Derek Brunson and Marvin Vittori. I don't think there's any shame in losing to those two because Marvin Vittori is very, very good. And Derek Brunson is completely one-dimensional. He's got no striking at all, but his wrestling is second to none. It's brilliant. Um, managed just to hold Kevin Holland down, rinse and repeat. Did it to Till as well. You know, did it to Cannonier for a little portion of their fight before he got absolutely clouted. But Kevin Holland has precise, incredible power. Very good at finishing fights. Loves to fight. Loves to trash talk. There goes my voice. Um, but he got chewed up in that first round against Alex Oliveira. Alex Oliveira was smashing that leg to bits and Tim Means must have seen that take back when he's when he gets this Kevin Holland fight and goes, that's an avenue I can go down because he's a much better striker than Alex Oliveira. You know, the grappling, I don't think he's gonna need it. Although if he gets him hurt, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind a little neck attack here from Tim Means. He's fought way more at middleweight, uh, welterweight rather. He knows his body, he's not got a massive cut. This is going to be a really competitive fight on the feet. Um, I think the power lies with Kevin Holland, the precision lies with Kevin Holland, but the volume and the diversity of attacks, all on Tim Means. So personally, I do think momentum and youth and a few other bits is going to go with Kevin Holland, and I am picking Kevin Holland. I think Kevin Holland has more than enough to win this fight, but do not be surprised if Tim Means comes out the gates and he makes it dirty, pushes him against the fence, gets his head on his chest and rides those elbows across his, you know, across his temple. You know, and then and then when Ke if Kevin does get a little shaken or a little rocked, he's going to jump on that neck. He's going to go straight for that guillotine or a dash choke if he gets into his knees. I wouldn't be surprised if you see any takedowns because he knows Kevin Holland is weaker in that department. I know he's been working on it a lot, but whether he's been working on it enough to just keep going back to it, and he's going to get sick of wrestlers. But so personally, guys, going Kevin Holland. I think it's going to be a really close fight. I think Kevin Holland can get it done. I think if anyone's going to finish the fight, it's Kevin Holland. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let us know in the comments, guys, who you think is going to win. Like the video if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And enjoy the fights. Cheers, guys.